In this scenario, I'm going to choose a product and a through to year, and I want a formula to add up all the sales up to that year for the particular product. So you can see I've done a bit of conditional formatting here that shows you exactly what I want to add up. So if I choose a product and then a year, I'm essentially wanting to add up all the figures that are marked with an orange background in this table. So to achieve this, I'm going to use a mixture of the sum function, the offset function, and the match function. So let's get started with the offset function. I'm in N6 equals offset. So the first thing the offset asks for is a reference, a starting point. So my starting point would be at the top left corner of the table, comma. Then the next thing it asks for is rows. So how many rows do you need to move down to get to product five? Well, that would be one, two, three, four, five. So if I can find the position of product five in this column, that would return the correct amount. Now I can use the match function to do that. Match returns the position of a value in a column or a row. So my lookup value would be product five, comma, and my lookup array would be this column of values, comma. And because I want an exact match, I'm gonna choose zero as my match type, comma. So that would get me down to A8, comma, after my match function. And the next thing the offset function asks for is coles. So how many columns do you want to move across? Well, I want to move across one column, which would get me to B8, the first sales value for product five, comma, height. Well, the array that we want to return and we want to add up is one row high. Um, so we could put one in height because we want to return a, an array that's one row high, or we can leave it blank because one is the default. Now the width is the important bit because the width is defined by the through to year. So if it's the through to year is 2011, then our width is one, two, three, four, five. So again, what I can do is use a match function to find the position of this value in this row. So match, open bracket. My lookup value will be the year, comma, the lookup array will be the row of years at the top of my table, comma, and I'm doing an exact match, so I use zero, comma. So that gives me my width. I then just need to close the bracket for offset. Now, to see what the offset's doing, I'm going to select the offset function, and I'm going to press F9 on my keyboard. Now, F9 shows you what that formula is delivering what its result is. It hard codes the results of that formula onto the screen. So I can see that it's correctly returning 29, 97, 70, 55, and 56, which are these exact same values uh, that I want to return within this table. So I'm going to undo that so it gets rid of the hard coded values. And then I'm going to use the sum function to add up the array of numbers that the offset function is returning. So the whole of the offset function has been enclosed within a sum function. So product five, 2011, 307. Let's see if that's true. If I select those figures and look down here, 307. Let's see if it works if I change. So product four, let's say 2009. So if I select these figures, then you'll see 139, that's also the correct answer.